Well, for the longest, they thought the only thing I did was that duet with Justin Bieber forever. That's all. That should be me. So that was, they thought it was that and the Hannah Montana movie was the only thing I did for years. I mean, you and your wife have been married for over 20 years. I mean, I'm sure you get this question a lot, but what is the secret to your success, especially balancing such a crazy career and things like that? You know, just keeping God in the center of our marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, truly, that's the the main thing because we we can screw it up a lot, a bunch when we just, you know, when it's just us trying to handle everything. So just keeping God at the center of our marriage has been the, the anchor point for us. Are you still as romantic as you were 20 years ago? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she absolutely. Little Olive Garden on a Wednesday. Come on. Oh, yeah. Little Baskin Robbins. You ready? You ain't ready. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a little soup salad and breadsticks, right? To, to... That's right. Let's go. How do you and your wife still like split up those parenting duties? Is it, have you guys always uh, worked together or is like one a good cop, one bad cop? <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, just because I work and stuff, and you know, Tara was always just like, you know, you cannot be, come home here and just be the good cop and all the time. So I could not sit around and be the bad cop all the time. So, yeah, but you know, dads are different. You know, dads are different because, like, we don't, it doesn't take uh, so much energy for us to correct our children than it does for moms. Mm -hmm. It's just the way, you know, like, I can look at him or something and go, are you serious? And I, I'm, I'm so sorry, you know, where Tara would have to sit there and talk for 30 minutes on why it was wrong and they'll go, okay, I know, gosh, I get it, you know. <laughs> so true. Are you going to be working with your daughter anymore on uh, upcoming music? I don't know. She wants me to pay her now. Now she's a big star, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> we'll have to see. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably do some more stuff in the future and, and uh, you know, both of my girls sing, so... Brittany and Brooklyn are kind of ate up, so I, I think I'm, they're going to chase me down if I don't. Is it so much fun getting to share that um, with them? Yeah, it really is. They, it, it just uh, it, it blows my mind how gifted and talented they, that they are, you know, and they just have undeniable talent. It just uh, so it's awfully fun to sit there and watch them do their thing. Definitely. Do you encourage them to enter this business, and do you give them any? And what's that piece of advice that you give them? Well, I, you know, they, they kind of go back and forth that they want to. I don't really tell them either way. I just, you know, I just want them to be happy and do what they, you know, love to do. And, and they can be anything that they want to be. And But if they have questions or, you know, I don't push them either way. So I just let them make their own decisions. And, you know, but I'll definitely help them all the way through if that's what they want to do. Yeah. Did the girls have, what's their favorite song of yours of all time? Oh, probably, I, I won't let go. It's probably one of them. And then, well, for the longest, they thought the only thing I did was that duet with Justin Bieber forever. That's all. I, that should be me. So that was, they thought it was that and the Hannah Montana movie was the only thing I did for years. So <laughs> I'm sure you scored major cool dad points with that one, though, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I did. Yeah. But Life's a Highway is a great one. The girls love and I won't let go. Broken Road. Mm -hmm, definitely. Um, I love that so much. I think that's great. What is the toughest part about parenting teenage daughters, early 20s daughters? What's the, what's the hardest part about that? Just the stupid phones. The drama in these telephones is ridiculous. <laughs> they left me on red and I cannot even believe it. I am not. How are you going to leave me on red? I, I will not return that phone call. I, there is no way you're going to leave me on red. Phones are a nightmare.